good day once again my name is graphics today we'll be looking at this example where we are told to calculate for the reaction now we have a beam and this kind of beam is called a simply supported beam because of what it is resting on two supports right it is resting on what on two supports the first support is a, a hinge support the second support is called what a roller support right so now this beam is carrying a UDL load a uniformly distributed load for a distance of what 10 meter and it's also carrying a 10 kN point load on another distance from this point to this point which is what 15 meter right now we want to calculate for the reaction we know for we to get a reaction it is due to what a support now this is a support now I want to see how this reaction this support is reacting to the load is that okay now so we need to draw it in our free body diagram now let's start now, our free body diagram is the diagram that shows all the external force that is acting on the system. So, my FBD here, FBD, the free body diagram here, will be this. This is a hinge support or a pin support. It's always having two reactions. Are we good? So let me say this is point A, one of the reactions. So here will be arrow A Y. That means the reaction along Y axis. And what? Arrow A X. That is the reaction along X axis. Now, this other point here is a roller support. It's carrying thus one reaction acting upward. So let's say this is point B. And this will be what? R B Y. Now, if it's point B, if you notice this is a UDL, it is 5 kN per meter, means every 1 meter is 5 kN, and we have 10 meter, so it will be what? 5 kN per meter multiplied by what? 10 meter. So meter will equate meter, 10 times 5 is what? 50, 50 kN, so it will be acting at the center of this UDL. So I'm converting it to point load. So I'll put it here. This is what? 50 kN acting downward. So from this point to this point is what? 5. Are we good? It's 5 meter. Now, also move further again. Another what? 5 meter. This five meter again. Is that okay? So now this point here, let's call this point here point what B. So at this point where it ends is my point what point B. And there is a 10 kN further away from that point. So let me call that point again. Point C. This point here should be point C, which is having 10 kN. As you see this way, from this point to this point we say it is what 10 meter and from this point to this point we say it is what 5 meter and from this point to this point is another what 5 meter all together we're having what 20 meter all together we're having 20 meter so what we'll do we've successfully converted this UDL into what point load now it's how to calculate the reaction that this that the reaction of this support now let's start we we'll obey we we'll, we'll write our condition down you say let all upward force be what be positive so any force that is facing upward is positive and also 
you say let all downward force be what be negative so any force that is facing downward is negative so similarly you say let all force acting to the right be what positive this way be positive and we're moving further and you say let all forces acting to the left be negative to so come in this way so we should have that as our condition so let's proceed now now there are three conditions necessary for equilibrium the first condition for equilibrium is what um summation of f of x equals to what zero and we know that we have considered upward force i mean forward force to be positive and backward force to be what negative so if you look how many forward how many horizontal force do we have f of x we have just one and it's facing what forward so and that one is what arrow a x since it is only one equals to what zero so my arrow x is what is equals to what zero that is one now the next condition is summation of what f of y equals to zero and you are going to consider all upward force to be positive and downward force to be negative when i say f of x means all horizontal components when I say f of y, I means all vertical components. So the summation of every one of them is you equate them to what? Zero. Now, we're moving. Now, if you look at this very well, we have how many vertical force? One, arrow a y. Two, arrow b y. Three, 50 kilonewton. Four, 10 kilonewton. But because arrow a y and arrow b y are facing up, you are going to add them. So we have arrow a y plus r b y right now because 50 kilonewton and 10 kilonewton are facing down you subtract them minus 50 minus what 10 so all equals to what zero because that is the only vertical force we have there so now we're moving forward now if you look at this very well r a y plus r b y minus what 50 minus 10 give you minus 60 equals to zero so row a y row a y plus row b y will now be equals to when minus 60 come to this side become what 60 kilo newton since i have two unknown i'll call this my equation one now the third condition that we are looking after will be what? Summation of what? Moment about a point. Let's say point A equals to what? Zero. So I'm going to consider clockwise moment, direction of the clock is positive, and the clockwise moment, opposite of the direction of the clock is what? Negative. So now let's start. Look at this very well. If I'm taking moment about point A, everything involving point A will become zero. Because what is moment? Moment is the product of force and the perpendicular distance from the line of the force to the action of the what? To the point of action of the force, right? This is the line of the force and this is the point of action. Wherever I see any force is the point of action of the force. So they must be what? At 90 degree. So now what I will do here is this. So what I'll do here is this. I am going to take moment about a zero. 
So if you look at 50, it is perpendicular to what? This line of action. So it will be 50 times what? 5. That is 50, the distance of 50 from the point I took moment is what? 5. So I will say 50 times what? 5. But now, 50 is going towards the direction of where I took moment, like this. So it is going like it is going as if it's going in an anticlockwise direction in an in an anticlockwise in a clockwise direction because it's going like this so it's in a clockwise direction so it will be plus 50 times what five so i'll go back there i'll go to 50 times what five that is one so the next one is this. We are coming back again. If you look at this very well, the next force is at this point here. And it's telling me 10. Distance of 10 from where I took moment from is what? 5 plus 10, that is what? 15. So from here to the point I took moment from is what? 15. It will be it is going towards that point right so it will be 10 times what 15 so i'll go to that point so i'll put plus what 10 times what 15 right so the next thing i'll do again is the next one and that is arrow by i took moments here so distance from B from arrow by to the point I took moment which is A is what 5 plus 5 plus 10 that is 20. But the problem here is that what B is going towards this direction, right? It's going towards the direction because that's where his arrow is. He cannot go this way, he always go back direction here, right? So it will be negative because it's going anti clockwise. So this is anti clockwise because it's going backward, this is clockwise because it's going forward, right? So it will be arrow minus arrow by times what 20. So go back there, and we're going to put plus into bracket minus arrow b y times 20. So there's no other force again. So equals to what? Zero. So 5 times 50 is what? 250. Plus 10 times 15 is what? 150. Arrow b y times 20 give minus arrow b y. Minus times plus give you minus. So we have 20 arrow b y equals to what zero so if you look at it 250 times 150 is what 400 minus 20 arrow by equals to zero now if you take minus 20 to this other side it will be 400 equals to what 20 arrow by now if i divide both sides by 20 this over 20 this over 20 I will equate 20, equate 20, so I left with RBY. So 20 in 400 is what? We have 20, right? So this will give me 20 is equal to what? RBY. So my RBY is equal to what? My RBY is equal to what? 20 kilo newton. Are we good together now? So now we're moving forward. Now we say arrow by is 20, but recall that arrow ay plus arrow by is equal to 60. So if I impute arrow a by in this equation here, I'm going to get arrow ay. So what will I do? I will say that um, substitute substitute arrow by in equation one above. So what is equation one? Equation one is arrow a y plus arrow b y is equal to sixty. So arrow a y plus what? What twenty is equal to what? Sixty. So my arrow a y is equal to what? Sixty minus twenty. So sixty minus twenty. Now my arrow a y. Will now give us what 40 kilo newton so this is my 40 kilo newton so i have successfully gotten the what the reaction thank you very much